Hi there, welcome to Two Birds. This is Fiona, and this is a dynamic strength building flow class where we repeat and add in postures in a ladder style flow. Beginning in child's pose, setting the knees up hip width apart, bringing the toes together, and settling your buttocks down on your heels. Laying your torso down in between your thighs, head rests on the mat. Reaching your arms forward so your elbows are straight there, fingertips nice and wide. And feel for your little fingers touching the edges of the mat so you give your shoulders a little bit of space. Start to establish an even flow to your breath, breathing here into the back of the lungs. As you breathe in, feeling a broadness in your upper back. And as you breathe out, a softness in your belly between your thighs. And taking two more full breaths in and out. And we'll begin our flow. Remember, you can rest here anytime during the class in child's pose, anytime you need to do less or you'd like to take a break. Join back in the flow whenever you're ready. On your next breath in, coming up onto all fours. As you breathe out, lift your hips up and back, move into downward facing dog, a little bend in the knees there. Inhale. Knees back down to the floor, all fours. Exhale, untuck the toes, buttocks to the heels, child's pose. Inhale, coming up onto all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back and perhaps straightening the legs a little deeper. Inhale, onto all fours. Exhale, rest back, child's pose, buttocks to the heels, arms extending forward. Inhale, up onto all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog, extending through your arms, the sides of the waist. Inhale, shift forward to a high push up, bringing your shoulders over your wrists, staying on the balls of the back toes and shift your gaze lightly forward but keep the back of your neck nice and long there back of your skull running in one long diagonal line to your heels front of the pelvis lifting up your abs engaged so you fill out and support your low back spine thighs engaged lifting up in space take one more deep breath in and as you exhale hips up and back downward facing dog just here for a bead Next in breath, knees to the floor, untuck the toes. Exhale, buttocks to your heels, child's pose. Inhale, coming up onto all fours. Exhale, float back downward facing dog, sit bones nice and high there. As you breathe in, ripple forward to a high push up. And as you breathe out a low push up here, knees can come to the floor to modify. Do keep your elbows hugging into the ribs, your elbows balanced over your wrists. Pause here, continue to breathe smooth and steady. Collarbones smiling open, low belly nice and firm. One more deep breath in. Exhale, push back up, high push up, downward facing dog on the same out breath, lengthen into the back of your legs, heels reaching down. Next in breath, knees to the floor. Next out breath, child's pose and rest. Inhale, coming up onto all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, high push up, plank pose. Feel free to place the knees on the floor. Take a low push up all the way down to the floor. Hands by the ribs, fingers spread. Inhale, low baby cobra. We're holding here. So just finding a sustainable shape 
through your spine, not pinching into the low back spine and perhaps very little pressure in your hands here, just using your core strength to lift and open your chest, shoulder heads, up away from the floor, shoulder blades squeeze in behind you, legs are engaged, kneecaps lifting, all 10 toes pressing into the mat. Take a deep breath in, exhale, peel down one long exhale, plank pose, downward facing dog, emptying the lungs. Take three deep breaths in and out. Resting here, your head relaxed, your expression soft, eye gaze either closed or steady between the knees. Place a little bend in the knees, send the gaze forward as you breathe in and go ahead, walk yourself forward to the top edge of the mat. When you arrive, inhale a half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, hands can shift to the shins and as you exhale, let go and fold over the legs, drop your head. Inhale, coming into chair pose, bend your knees nice and deep, reach your arms alongside your ears. As you exhale, sink the buttocks down, your weight back into your heels. One round of Surya Namaskar, be here, one movement, one breath. Deep breath in. Exhale and fold over the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose, top of your push-up. And as you feel yourself, breathe out, lower, slow, chaturanga, low push-up, all the way to the floor. Inhale, low baby cobra, elbows tucking in, legs strong. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Place your toes together when you arrive. Right leg rising as you breathe in. Right foot stepping forward as you breathe out. Anchor your back, left heel down, warrior one. Reach the arms overhead. One breath here. Exhale, hands to the floor. Either downward dog, if you need to take a break or step back through a vinyasa, plank pose. Chaturanga. A back bend of your choice, perhaps upward dog here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Toes come together when you arrive. Left leg rising as you breathe in, take it up nice and high. And as you breathe out, step the left foot forward in between your hands, keeping your right leg super straight here, reach the arms up, breathe in deep. Exhale, hands to the floor and your choice here, vinyasa or downward dog. If you'd like to flow, plank pose, low push up, upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog and rest here about five breaths. Smooth the rhythm, the cadence of your breath down. Breathing as equally as you can. Feeling a softness in your body as you breathe out. And searching for length through your body as you breathe in. Arms extending, heels reaching back thighs pressing back in space. Bring your toes together here at the back of the mat. Reach your right leg up and back with your breath, so not flinging it up. As you exhale, step your right foot forward over into the right lane, top edge of the mat, high lunge coming up. Set your feet, right foot over in the right lane, left foot in the left lane. When you're steady, reach your arms up and overhead, arms alongside your ears, shoulders softening away from your earlobes. Taking your right hand now to your left wrist, take a side bend to your right. Now keeping your breath steady, lengthening all the way down through the left side waist, the left ribs, down through the top of the left thigh. We're holding here just a couple more breaths so making your, sure your breath's sustainable, the shape you're making doesn't interrupt or disturb your breath. Inhale, coming back to center, press your palms, lower your hands to your heart center and reverse your twist now, your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Gaze can shift out over your right shoulder if you're feeling steady or just look down, relax your neck. 
spiraling your heart toward your thumbs and just check in a straight line from elbow to elbow your right elbow pointing straight up toward the ceiling revolving through the middle of your ribcage your upper back and keeping your back thigh lifting up in space deep breath in here exhale place the hands on the floor frame your front foot step back high push up exhale slow low push up either to the floor or hover upward dog or cobra your back bend slow out breath downward facing dog second side coming our toes together here at the back of the mat left leg rising as you breathe in step your left foot forward in between your hands as you breathe out inhale coming up into high lunge exhale stay here get nice and steady arrange your feet you're on the balls of the back toes taking your left hand now to your right wrist taking a side bend to your left keeping the chest open your heart lifting spiraling toward the ceiling staying steady in your feet deep breath in here exhale return to center press your palms lower your hands to your heart center right elbow now twisting to the outside of your left front knee left shoulder rolling back and just place your gaze either over your left shoulder or keep the gaze down back thigh lifting up in space spiraling open in your twist toward the left one more deep breath in exhale hands to the floor pause here and just choose if you'd like to step back to downward dog and take a rest feel free otherwise stepping back through a vinyasa high push up lower slow chaturanga low push up upward dog or cobra downward facing dog and rest breathe deep invite your breath to shift the ribs nice and wide as you breathe out feel a firmness your belly, belly hollowing out spread the sit bones spiral the inner thighs inwards reach the heels down anchor your hands down so the next round we'll do the same sequence one movement one breath and then add on holding the poses bringing the toes together here at the back of the mat your right leg rising as you breathe in right foot forward as you breathe out a high lunge once you're steady in the feet reach the arms overhead taking your right hand to your left wrist take a side bend to your right inhale coming back up to center press your palms take reverse prayer twist left elbow outside of your right knee just here for a bit send the gaze down look at your feet and go ahead step your left foot forward to meet the right foot and come into chair twist hold it here so your left knee is going to want to point uh, come forward here so just make sure your knees are in line you can see your toes off the ledge of your knee sit your buttocks down a little deeper bring your weight back into your heels and then revolve open to your right take a deep breath in and as you exhale release fold over the legs just here to release inhale coming into chair pose we'll hold here arms alongside your ears feel free to take your arms a little wider if you've got tight shoulders sit your weight back into your heels so your toes are light and fluffy low bellies hugging in and up so you fill out through your low back spine reach long through the sides of the waist to the edge of your fingers take a deep breath in and as you exhale balance on your right foot and float the left leg back coming into warrior three 
Hands can come to your heart center or alongside your body or challenge your balance, bringing your arms alongside your ears, reaching your fingertips forward. Here to hold just a couple of breaths. Another option is to take your hands to the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale, gaze down, bend your standing leg, hands to the floor, either downward dog or if you're enjoying the flow, a vinyasa, stepping back, high push up, low push up, upward dog or cobra, downward facing dog, second side coming up, toes together here, back of the mat, left leg rising as you breathe in. Left foot forward as you breathe out, high lunge, get steady in the feet, reach the arms as you breathe in. Left hand to your right wrist now, take a side bend to your left. Inhale back to centre. Press your palms, come into reverse prayer twist, your right elbow now to the outside of your left knee. Looking down at your feet. Step your back foot forward to meet the front foot. Come into chair twist. Hold here, breathe out. Drop your buttocks down. Make sure you can see your toes and your knees are in one line. So that'll keep your pelvis steady. Hug in and up through the belly and you're sending your breath wide into your ribs. And as you breathe out, twist a little deeper. Big breath in here. Exhale, fold over the legs, empty the lungs. Weight back into your heels, breathe in, chair pose, Utkatasana, arms alongside your ears, buttocks really low, knees bent, hold here. So with your weight back in your heels, you're activating your glute muscles in your buttocks as well as your thighs, just spreading the effort out, expanding through your chest with your breath. Take a deep breath in here. Balance on your left foot and start to float the right leg back any amount. Arms can reach alongside your body. Hands can come to the heart or reach them forward. Warrior three. Holding your balance, your gaze. Smooth breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor, pause. Feel free to take a vinyasa or step back downward facing dog if you need to rest. Coming through your vinyasa or a back bend of your choice. Downward facing dog and we'll all meet up there. Heels lightly spinning out, your big toes in, thighs firm. And just feel the warmth in your body that you've created. Lengthening through the sides of your waist, through the reach of your arms. Let your head hang heavy, let your heart rest. Find that even cadence to your breath. So once again, we'll add on to this flow, repeating the sequence and adding on warrior two and a reverse warrior. So just take your time. You're maybe familiar with the postures now. So feel free to move at your own pace in time with your breath. Toes together here at the back of the mat. Reach your right leg up and back as you breathe in. Right foot forward in between your hands as you breathe out. Arms rise into high lunge, breathe in. Right hand to your left wrist, take a side stretch, breathe out. Coming back to center, arms over here, press the palms, lower your hands and come to reverse prayer twist, your left elbow outside of the right thigh. Gaze down. Step your back foot forward and come into chair twist. Exhale and fold over the legs. Inhale for chair pose, just here for a beat. Float your arms back and float your left leg, come into warrior three. 
land your left foot back and open out into warrior two arms float out to a T pausing here holding here your back foot is firmly anchored outer edge of the back foot pressing into the mat so your back leg stays firm a deep lunge through the front leg but just making sure you can see your toes off the front ledge of your knee inner thighs opening like a book stretching toward your knees keep the legs where they are and inhale reverse your warrior and as you raise your front arm just make sure you can sustain a peaceful even rhythm to your breath deep breath in vinyasa coming up of course downward dog always a choice child's pose to hands to the floor stepping back plank pose chaturanga low push up inhale upward dog or cobra open the chest breathe in deep savor your breath exhale downward facing dog second side your toes together here at the back of the mat reach your left leg up and back breathe in step the left foot forward in between your hands high lunge as you breathe in reach your arms overhead right uh, left hand to your right wrist take a side bend to your left inhale coming back to center press your palms reverse prayer twist your right elbow hooking outside of the left knee roll the left shoulder back gaze down step your right foot forward to meet the left top edge of the mat chair twist as you feel yourself breathe out fold over the legs inhale rise to chair pose sink your buttocks down nice and low reach the arms float the arms back and raise your right leg balancing on your left leg and step back with your right foot opening out to warrior two as gracefully as you can and just adjust your feet might need to creep the front foot forward a little warrior two holding here softening your shoulders reaching out from fingertip to fingertip so you expand across your chest let your hips sink down keeping a firmness in your back leg deep bend in the front knee keep the legs where they are inhale reverse your warrior reaching up and back and pointing the chest toward the ceiling keep lunging your front knee forward making sure it's not rolling in deep breath in here and as you exhale windmill the hands to the floor stepping back through a vinyasa high push-up low push up inhale up or dog or cobra exhale strong downward facing dog pause here take a rest feel free to take your knees to the floor we're here for about five to eight breaths a little pause before we move again and add our last sequence of poses breathing deep see if you can relax your jaw and your mouth settle the eyes closed and listening to the sound and quality of your breath being completely in the moment present in your body and now just taking your toes together here in downward facing dog reach your right leg up and back down dog splits as you breathe out step your right foot forward it's a high lunge arms rise as you breathe in right hand to your left wrist take a side bend to your right breathing out inhale coming back to center press your palms take reverse prayer twist left elbow hooking outside of the right knee gaze down step your left foot forward to meet the right foot chair twist 
Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, chair pose. We're just here for a bend. Just flow now, a little fluid in your body. Exhale, float the arms back and float your left leg at the same time, warrior three. Land your left foot, open the arms out, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior, fluid with your breath. Windmill the hands to the floor. Keep your left hand down in the left lane, right hand to the sky, runner's lunge twist. Just pop up onto the balls of your back toes. Stay here. Hold here. Gently lean your torso back, keeping your pelvis, your hips nice and level, back thigh lifting up in space. Breathing deep. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to plank pose and hold here. Take your feet nice and wide. Balance on your right hand and shift your heels to the right. Send the left hand to the ceiling. Side arm balance with both feet down. It'll give you a little bit more balance. Please feel free to take full side plank, any variation you like. We're here to hold three more breaths. Tailbone lengthening toward your heels so your body's in one straight line. Crown of the head reaching forward. Deep breath in. Exhale your hands to the floor. Feel free to move through a vinyasa or simply shift the hips up and back. Rest back in downward dog and we'll meet you back there. Toes come together here at the back of the man. Left leg rising as you breathe in. Left foot forward as you breathe out. High lunge coming up. Arms rise as you breathe in. Left hand to your right wrist. Take a side bend to your left. Breathe out. Inhale back to center. Press your palms. Exhale. Reverse prayer twist. Right elbow outside of the left thigh. Gaze down, step forward, top edge of the mat, take chair twist. As you breathe out, fold over the legs. Inhale, coming into chair pose, sink your buttocks down nice and low, firm the belly. Keep the belly firm, arms float back, balance on your left foot, float your right leg up. Warrior three. Land your right foot, spiral open, warrior two, arms out to a T, gaze is forward, and then inhale, reverse, and the gaze either up toward your left hand or down toward your back leg. We mill the hands to the floor here. Right hand stays down, left hand to the sky, open up for the twist. Just pop up onto the back toes so you're in a runner's lunge stance. Open up here for your twist. Pause and hold. Keep breathing. Deep breath in. Exhale. Left hand down to the floor. Stepping back to plank pose. Take your feet nice and wide. Balancing now on your left hand. Spin the heels to the left. Reach your right arm up toward the ceiling. So try and keep the legs engaged here, the, the underside of your waist lifting up in space. So you engage through your oblique muscles, through the abdominals. And try and keep the feeling that your head's in one long line with your spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping back either downward dog for a rest if you need to do less or shift forward and through a vinyasa, back bend of your choice. Downward facing dog and we'll all meet up here. Smooth breath in and out. So our final flow will move one movement, one breath, that whole sequence and 
and then a welcome rest in child's pose. If you feel like you need to take that now, just taking your buttocks to your heels and rest your arms alongside your body, take rest. Toes come together here at the back of the mat, right leg rising as you breathe in, right foot stepping forward as you breathe out, high lunge as you breathe in, reach your arms, side stretch to your right, right hand to your left wrist, bending over, inhale coming back to center, press your palms, take your twist, left elbow outside of your right thigh. Gaze down, step your left foot forward, come into chair twist. As you feel yourself breathe out, fold over the legs, empty the lungs, enjoy the rest. Inhale, coming into chair, hold. And then float the arms back, float your left leg up and back, warrior three. Land your left foot, spiral open arms to warrior two. Deep lunge in the front leg. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Left hand stays down, right hand to the sky. Runners lunge twist. Exhale, both hands down. Balance on your right hand. Shift both feet back to plank pose. Feet wide, heels to the right, toes to the left, left hand to the sky, side arm balance. Left arm over, head reach out, hands to the floor, plank pose, lower chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Last flow before rest, toes together, left leg rising as you breathe in, left foot forward as you breathe out. Reach the arms alongside your ears, high lunge. Left hand, right wrist, take a side bend to your left. Inhale, come back to centre. Press the palms, take reverse prayer twist, right elbow outside of your left thigh. Gaze down, step your right foot forward, come into chair twist. Exhale and fold over the legs. Inhale, chair pose, drop your buttocks down, firm the belly, reach the arms. Exhale, float the arms back, balance on your left foot, float your right leg up, warrior three. Land your right foot lightly, unwind the arms, warrior two, just dancing in space. Keep the legs where they are, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, we mill the hands to the floor. Your right hand stays down, left hand to the sky, runners lunge twist. Reach up. Exhale, both hands to the floor, step back, plank pose, top of a push up, feet wide, heels to your left, balance on your left hand, right hand to the sky, breathe in. And send your right arm overhead, breathe out, left side waist, lifting up in space. Eyes down, hands down, last vinyasa to flow, low push up. Upward dog or cobra, legs strong and firm, push into all ten toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. And here, just take your knees to the floor and place your knees quite wide, toes together, rest back. You can bring your forearms down here. Or you might like to press your palms and take your fingers to the nape of your neck, walking your elbows forward, lengthening out through the back of your arms. Letting go of your effort across the shoulders. Softening your facial expression and emptying your weight down into your heels. From here, just lifting up a little way, place your left hand to the midline of the mat, your arm extended, and thread your right arm underneath for a twist, coming down onto your right shoulder, 
your right cheek and allow the palm of your right hand to soften letting gravity do the work and the twist emptying your weight down into the right side of your shoulder spiraling open through the left shoulder Take two more deep breaths in and out. Coming back to centre, right hand now to the midline of your mat, extending forward, left arm threads under. Coming down onto your left shoulder, left cheek. relaxing any gripping in the hips and the legs so your buttocks just feel heavy here and through the reach and firmness of your right hand press down so you can reach your buttocks back a little closer toward your heels and taking one more deep breath in Exhale, coming back to centre. Both hands on the floor, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal out through your heels. And from here, we're going to come into pigeon pose. So if you have any tenderness in your knees right now, this uh, posture can be done on your back simply by taking your right ankle to your left knee with your left knee bent and just drawing your left knee back toward you. If you're comfortable in your knees, take your toes together, reach your right leg up and back, down dog splits. And as you exhale, take your right knee on a diagonal to the back of your right hand, cross your shin in front of you, extend your left leg out straight behind you. Now, if you've got a lot of air underneath your right buttocks, please feel free to shift a blanket underneath your right buttocks to help support yourself and your hips, keeping your hips as level as possible. So here, if your left hip is lifted here a little higher than your right, just roll your left thigh down, your left hip down. And any time here, when you're ready, walking your arms forward, and come down onto your forearms. Another option is to stack your fists and rest your head into your forearms. Or please feel free to extend your arms all the way out straight. And try not to be too rigid here. You want to feel comfort in the pose so it feels restful. You're getting a nice deep stretch through the buttocks muscles, outer right hip and outer right buttocks. But you're also allowing yourself to rest, letting your heart rate slow down, letting your breathing slow down and letting go of any effort in your upper body. So your shoulders relax, your face softens. And just feeling the temperature of the stretch change as you linger here. Often our hips can feel quite tight when we arrive in this pose and then when we exit the pose they're just that little bit looser. The temperature of the stretch doesn't feel so hot. So staying tuned in to the sensations of feedback from your body as you linger here. We're here for five more breaths. Gently coming up, walking your hands out in front of you and then stand on your hands, push the floor away, hug the right knee in and up toward your chest. 
and then stepping back to downward facing dog. Bike out your heels nice and slow so you can let the back of the right knee breathe, sway the hips perhaps a little side to side, loosen out through your body and we'll move into the second side. So if this knee is sore in particular on this side, please feel free to come down onto your back. Otherwise, left leg rising as you breathe in. Left knee to the back of your left hand as you breathe out. And arrange yourself here. So if you do have tighter hips, just take your heel a little closer in toward your pelvis. But just check, look down at your left knee. Make sure it's on a diagonal. And you can roll your right hip down until your hip points feel level. Take a blanket as support underneath your left buttocks if you feel like you're a little skew if. When you're ready, gently folding forward, walking your hands out any amount, resting on your forearms or extending your arms out straight. And letting go of any gripping there in the hips, the pelvis, and your upper body. Relaxing into the posture, perhaps closing the eyes. And staying tuned in. And it's often more challenging to stay present when you're not flowing and you don't have momentum behind you, you're just sitting very still. So just find a point of focus, perhaps where you're feeling most of the sensation in this posture, or perhaps just following the rhythm of your slow breath. Taking five more deep breaths in and out. And slowly taking your hands back, press down into your hands, raise the left knee in and up toward your chest, stepping back to downward facing dog, pedaling out through your heels, letting the back of your left knee breathe. And taking your knees to the floor, buttocks to your heels, child's pose, your hands around by your feet now, curl into a little ball. Taking two more deep breaths in and out. And slowly bringing yourself back upright and taking your feet around in front of you, place your legs out in front. And just taking an easy twist from here, bending your right knee and taking your right fingertips behind you, just making sure your left leg super straight, left toes pointing toward the ceiling, left hand to the ceiling. And as you exhale, go ahead, hug your front knee, take a twist around to your right. Breathing in deep to lift tall through your spine. Slow breath out to revolve, shifting the gaze out over your right shoulder. Big deep breath in. And exhale to twist to release your spine. Inhale, taking the gaze forward. Exhale, right leg out straight, left knee bends, left fingertips behind you, right hand to the ceiling, breathe in, exhale, hug your front knee and take a twist, keeping your right leg active and just enjoying the slower pace, letting your body calm down.
one more deep breath in and as you exhale eyes forward legs out straight last forward fold before Shavasana reach your arms up over the head my dogs are barking exhale fold forward five deep breaths here and if you can ignore the dogs No over effort here, you're inviting your body to calm, to relax in preparation for Shavasana. Inhale slowly, making your way back up. And feel free here to sit quietly and meditate or laying back into Shavasana, taking your feet out to the corner edges of the mat, letting your feet fall out, arms by the side of your body, palms face up, just to encourage your shoulders to roll open, and rest back. Any amount here, but ideally, give yourself five to 10 minutes to completely relax and let go. Feeling the footprint of your body get heavy, your heels, your buttocks, shoulders and the back of your skull. Melting the muscles in your arms, softening your palms and your fingers. And relaxing now down into the legs. It might be more peaceful if you turn me off now with the dogs. Otherwise, just stick with it. Legs relaxing, soles of the feet relaxed. Namaste, yogis. I hope you enjoyed.